there is only one thing in this world that is more beautiful than the scene before you. Boom. This folding knife right here. And guys, thank you for watching The Knife Whisperer. And remember, I love you. Well, hello, YouTube. Knife Obsessor here. Ah, today do I have a good one for you. And what is that good one going to be? Let me show you. Oh, my good God. Dang, girl. You look sweet. That's right, boys and girls. The SOCOM Elite Signature Series Manual. Oh boy. Watch this. Whoop. Oh my goodness, almost lost my thumb. Yes. Amazing. This has been a grail of mine for a long time. Funny story though. I actually have had this knife about eight months ago. Um I've always wanted a SOCOM, but and the signature of course was like just the, an upscale SOCOM. And, um, I, uh, everywhere you'd look, they'd always be out of stock. And I was just randomly looking one day in, on a Smoky Mountain Knife Works site, and they had this one, and it was in stock. And I just about pooped my britches. So, I bought it. And, um, extremely happy with it. And, uh, I've already told you, uh, that story about me ordering a knife and then canceling it and then ordering it again to cancel it again just to order it again um i get am very indecisive with my knives sometimes and um within a month of me owning this i had i guess gotten bored with it and um i traded this knife for the berg's uh iron wolf that i had and um about <sighs> About two months ago, I started to really miss this knife. And luckily, I was able to link up with the guy that I traded traded um, this knife for the Iron Wolf for to uh, get it back. So I actually traded I actually traded the Iron Wolf back to him in the 601, the Wii that I got. And um, so, so I definitely lost some in the trade. But, you know, I, I don't care because I really, really just wanted this knife back. And he hadn't carried it or anything. So, and... I've told you guys I'm not much for um, using my knives. I'm more of a collector. And um, so this thing's still absolutely brand new. There's not a scratch anywhere on this thing. And um, it's it's amazing, guys. It's I am so glad that I had this back in my collection. So this is the, um, the SOCOM Elite Signature Series. Signature being right there on the pocket clip. And then I don't know if you can see, but they also put right here... They put the uh, the date of birth and then the uh, the number of the run. Um, I guess what makes the signature series um, special is, from what I hear, I guess they have a little more um, hand to hand, a little more hand to hand contact. I guess um, there's more time spent on the blade grinds. You know, they got a different grind on. This is the spear point. Um, they do make some that are just like the um, the regular style, like Tanto and the regular clip point, you know, they have like a black DLC. I'll uh, I'll put some pictures in, and um, but this one was the one that I was always really attracted to. Oh, and again, instead of having the Microtech and stuff, they put that little um, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if it's a chicken's foot. I like to think that it's an eagle's foot with some talons, just because that seems a little tougher to me than than a chicken paw. I don't know, but. A lot of people don't like that. I know Bearded Gear doesn't like it, and I can see that, but um, I think it looks cool. I don't know. I think it looks good on this bronze one. Yeah, so this one's got a bronze finish on the blade. I'm not sure how well that's coming across here. And then all the hardware is bronze as well. And the pocket clip. It is in um, M390. And this is the manual, so it is running on Barron's. And it is stupid smooth. You know, this one, you will cut yourself in no time with this if you're not paying attention. 
and it's got a big thick blade on it so if it hits your finger it's gonna it's gonna leave a mark you know and I told you my story about um how I hate getting cut so this thing scares the crap out of me but that's why I love it you know what I mean it's just um it's like that thing that you shouldn't touch or play with but it drives you crazy because you know you shouldn't and uh I freaking love it I lick this knife I love it so now that I probably just scared you Let's finish with some more stats here. So, blade length of four inches, okay? This beautiful bronze stone wash finish on this blade. And it's a spear point. I'm not sure if you can see here, they also, they partially sharpen this tip here. You can kind of see it there. It's not all the way sharp, but they do thin it down. So this thing is a penetrating machine. It's a um, 0.19 blade stock, so it's a thick boy. But they still managed to grind this down to about... This one's a little thicker than the other SOCOMs because the grind starts a lot, um, a lot lower than the other ones do. But it still comes down to about 18, 20 thousandths behind the edge. But it's going to thicken up, thicken up really quickly there. You know, It's a wedgie blade. But this one isn't made to be a real slicer. This is a tactical knife. You know, This one is made for like... You know, stabbing and then taking somebody's heart out or something. I don't know. And then make, making them, I don't know, throwing it back at them before they pass out. And then telling them, you know, maybe you shouldn't have broken into my house, bro. But yeah, this is definitely just um, made for tactical applications. We have um, aluminum handles. Okay, the handle is 5 inches. And the blade is 4. So we have an overall length of 9 inches. This knife only weighs 5.1 ounces, and for the size of this knife, it's very light. Now, um, it is it is blade heavy. I mean, the centering is a further back here, and um, so it's definitely when you can feel that it's front heavy there when it's all the weights in the blade. But you have jimping here, you have jimping up here. There is some on the back here, more here. So it's a jimp tastic. You know, once you once you have a hold of this thing, it's not going anywhere. And in this grip, I mean, you can definitely tell that this thing's made for like a thrust, you know. And then um, this jimping here is fun to put up to, you know. This is comfortable, like if I think if you were going to do some whittling. And um, the action on these, like everybody says, is phenomenal. And I've had a, I've had the Standum Socom before in the... Um, the signature series feels even better. Like, I don't know what else they do different, but it's, I don't know. It was hard to think that the other ones could get any smoother, but uh, they do, and it's this here. Um, it's definitely, definitely smoother than the standard. And um, it, oh, I love it. And the um, fit and finish is ridiculously well done. I'm probably not going to be able to show you, but the centering is absolutely perfect as you can see right here there's you can see where the two handles come together you get that you get that crack and the blade is centered perfectly in there you have a glass breaker here or a skull breaker if you need to come down on somebody's melon you know one of, one of those and then of course that doesn't work you got this beautiful blade here that's going to scare the crap out of them and um Oh, what else we got here? It does have a detent ball ramp. Um, so it, it will glide right over. Although it's not looking like it right now, but it does. So yeah, guys, I am I am extremely happy that I have this knife back in my collection. And I'm not going to be stupid this time. Because you cannot find these now. I mean, everywhere you look, they're out of stock. I was just lucky to find this one months ago. And then extremely lucky to be able to get it back. And it's still in brand new condition. You know, it's as new as the day that I got it. Not a mark on this knife. And um, these aren't cheap, guys. A regular SOCOM is SOCOM is going for around like two ninety, three hundred bucks. And uh, even the regular ones are out of stock a lot of places right now. All you can really find are the automatic ones. And um, the automatics are sweet too. But I think most people will tell you that they like the manuals better. I mean, it's just. 
to f the action on these is just second to none when it comes to a, a thumb stud knife. Honestly, I mean, you just fall, you fall this little groove here with your thumb, and you just put a little bit of pressure on it, and it just, and the thing just flies out of there. Like, if I if I didn't know. You could probably you could probably convince me that this was an assisted knife, you know, like um, that that blade is gonna spring in it somewhere that's helping it fly out, but it doesn't, guys. It's just a it's just perfect tolerances. The detent is just dialed in, awesome. Look at the detent on this. Ready? If I can keep it from going, the detent is so strong on this. Click and like it flies in there, guys. It doesn't just click; it like just. Sucks it right in. And, um, yeah, guys, just all around beautiful knife. These things are built to last. I mean, if I decided that I wanted to actually be a, a real man and use my knife, um, this thing would last forever. You know, you would have to go out of your way to try to break this and, you know, and just good luck, you know. Obviously, you could break it if you wanted to. I mean, it is what it is, but. In normal use or even hard use, I mean, this knife is just made to last. Micro, micro, jeez, uh, Microtech has an amazing warranty too, from what I understand. So, if you did break something, you could send it in, and they would definitely take care of you. You know, um, yeah. So again, on the price, the regular ones, like I said, go around two ninety, three hundred dollars, and if if you can find one of these, you're expecting. Be expecting to pay about four hundred dollars. The cheapest that I've seen these signature series go for is about three seventy. Okay, mostly you find them for around like three eighty, three ninety. You know, I paid. I think I paid three ninety for this one from uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And um, yeah, so I don't know what what the run number is on these, but this is number six hundred and forty seven. And um, I guess the um, these were done in limited quantities, although it seems like the regular ones are too. So I don't know. I'm going to reach out to Microtech and see if I can get some more information on like what what really makes a signature series better, or what why it's why it's a signature series besides just a little bit of writing on the clip here, and obviously the different finishes. I don't know. But um, yeah, guys. So SoCom Elite manual signature series and happy as heck to have this back in my collection and um as always guys thank you for watching this review we're going to give you the good five flex and we're going to give you a little bit of a huggle mm -hmm. oh look at that yeah i did a couple curls before i came out to do this video because i wanted to look like wanted to look all ripped up and um I love you a long time. Until the next time, guys. Knife Whisperer, out.